I'd like to thank everybody. As noted, I've been asking for the AW and WWE active rosters because I've mentioned a thousand times. It feels like there's a hundred people signed to AEW and a dozen signed to Raw and SmackDown. And I'd asked for the roster before, and nobody sent them. And then uh, yesterday I asked again, and then everybody sent them. So I can't thank everybody that sent them, but everybody that did send the rosters. And there were various ways that people sent the rosters. But believe it or not, Mike, you mm -hmm. came through. Mike not only got the active rosters for Raw and SmackDown, but he also basically put everybody in a tier the main event, upper card, the middle, the 24-7 geek level, tag teams, women's baby faces, etc. Now, I'm, I'm glad you did that, Mike, but we didn't need that. But I'm glad you did it. Aww. But what I wanted most of all was the key, the key numbers here. How many active men are on the Raw roster and the SmackDown roster? How many active women are are on the Raw and SmackDown roster, and then compare that to the active roster of AEW. Is it true that almost the same people do the same matches every week on Raw? Meanwhile, in AEW, it looks like they've got a 1,000 people in a contract. Well, let's look at these numbers right here. For Monday Night Raw, there are currently... 35 active men and 13 active women. Once Brian, again, 35 we, active men. I don't mean to jump in here. We can actually update this. If Randy Orton is coming back tonight, we can now bump that. He is off the injured or inactive list, so he can now be bumped to well, the uh, active list. So that would make 36. Well, we can we can do that tomorrow, but as of as of right now, as of yesterday when I asked... 35 active men ah, and stickler. 13 active women. Yes, I am a stickler. Because this is the shows I've been watching, not the shows I'm going to watch in the future. I'm talking about the shows I've been watching over and over, the exact same shows. SmackDown. SmackDown. WWE SmackDown on Fox. 24 active men and 10 active women. Friday Night SmackDown, 24 active men and 10 active women. Keep in mind, Raw is three hours and SmackDown is two hours. So on average, we have a little over 10 active men per hour on Raw and five active women on Raw and five or five. Anyway, point is that that's your numbers. Okay. So one more time, then we'll go to AEW. Raw has 35 active men, 13 active women. SmackDown has 24 active men and 10 active women. And Tamina counts on both rosters there. She's yes. factored into both. Yes. AEW has 79 active men and 18 active women. Let me repeat that. AEW on their two-hour show has 79 active men and 18 active women. The number one promotion in the world that includes a show on the Fox Network, 24 active men and 10 active women. I watch the same matches over and over and over again. Do we need to, do we need to talk about how many people WWE? I should add that list. How many wrestlers has WWE cut since the beginning of 2021 in order for us to watch the same 24 men on SmackDown every single week and the same 10 women over and over and over again? So the point of all of this, everybody, is I'm not out of my mind. I am not out of my mind. We have approximately... 10 to 11 active men per hour on the WWE main roster programming <laughs> and 40 on the AEW programming. Shout out to uh, the Imagine chat. what 70, a normal person 79 thinks, by the way. Be done. 
<laughs> Imagine what a normal person thinks watching these shows. Like, talk about not seeing the forest from the trees. I hear from these people in WWE that, oh, uh, bro, if you're a normal fan watching, WWE's got nobody under contract. It's the same people over and over again. Everybody's jumping to the other promotion where we see new matches and new faces and 40 active men per hour. I'd like something to change, quite frankly, because I'm sick of watching the same stuff over and over. That's the point I'm trying to get at here. Haven't been that many active men per hour since... Nah, never mind. I don't feel like getting suspended this week. Please, don't. Well, as Mike noted... So, I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but Randy Orton and Riddle were doing this storyline where they were a team. And then one day, Randy Orton vanished, and he, he was disappeared. He's been gone for like four weeks. What that means he's been gone for four weeks, I don't know, but he has been. So now, I mean, think about this. He's been gone. Riddle's pointed at the, the sky like he's dead. Every week we wonder if Randy Orton's going to make a surprise return and RKO somebody or whatever. Well, you'll be pleased to know that they just announced he's back tonight and he's going to open up the show. 40 writers. That's what they came up with for the return of Randy Orton. He's opening the show tonight. He's back. Social media, too. So, Best by the way, way for those of you keeping track, we have three things announced for Raw tonight. Not one of them is a match. But I can, I can, I can probably fairly state to you that most likely we're going to see a bunch of the same matches that we have seen over and over again. Based on these Wait, numbers I hope, here. I hope one of them has got to do with Eva Marie and Dewdrop. Well, I'm sure that we're going to see Eva Marie and Dewdrop, And they'll do something involving Alexa Bliss. Uh, and The Undertaker, Lily. And by the way... What? By the way, I, as someone noted here, they have more writers per hour than they have male wrestlers. <laughs> by the way, on that active list, as you'll see, too, when you consider some of the people, Slapjack Shane Thorne technically is over on SmackDown. He's on that list. Rick Boogs technically is a actual professional wrestler. At least he trained to be one. So he is actually active on that list. So you can actually take them off. Hey, if yes. you consider people who have wrestled, you can take them off. Take off Commander Aziz, really, too, considering he hasn't really done anything. Well, I'm not talking about Commander Aziz, but, I mean, when we, when we do 35 active men— I mean, as you note here, we are talking about people and the active women, of course, as well. Um, SmackDown active women on your list here. It includes um, actually, you didn't even put uh, where, where's heels. Where is it? Oh yeah, it okay. includes Tony Storm. Where has she been? She dropped off the face of the earth. I mean, I can yeah. go through the list here and and you know, Slapjack. Where's that guy been? Uh, who else do we have that's li that you listed as active that we haven't even seen in forever? Aziz has been wrestling, so he counts. But, uh, you know, we had Shotzi well, and Kevin, Tegan. Kevin Owens hasn't been around for a while. They little vanished. Bit. Yeah, Kevin Owens. Rick Boogs, you've got listed here. He just comes out and plays a guitar. So as far as, like, actual yeah. wrestlers, the numbers we listed for WWE are lower than what I stated. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's how how do you view Shanky and Veer? Are they a tag team or are they just there? If they're just there, then they fall into like the Paul Heyman category, the, the people that you wouldn't count as members of that list. Drew Gulak is on that list, you know? So, I mean, I guess we've got some new energy with the 24-7 title and Reggie yeah. over on Raw, but are, like, are we going to use Riddick Moss, who's also exactly. on that list? Keep in mind when Mike gave you these numbers, everybody, they're, they're, they're skewed high because we're listening. Listing. Akira Tozawa, Angel yeah. Garza, Drew Guys Gulak, they could actually Riddick use Moss. I haven't even don't. seen Riddick Moss running. Yeah. So the actual number, if you if you take those people out, Dana Brooks, she's vanished off the face of the earth. Yeah. Take those people out, and, and your numbers are actually even lower than what we stated, which were already preposterously low for the number one wrestling promotion in the world. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Eric, Tyler Mullins wants to know, if you had no restrictions at all in your diet, what food would you love to eat over and over again? Ah, uh, cup of noodles is my favorite. Your choice is cup of noodles? Uh-huh. Not a steak or escargot? Nope. Cup-o-noodles. 
Yeah, that's the only thing that doesn't upset my stomach. Yeah, well, I think the, the question, Granny, is if it didn't upset your stomach, if there were no consequences, you could just eat I, any I food. Still, I still say cup of noodles. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.